hello guys welcome to today's video i go by the name john crypto form and in today's video i'll be teaching you how to get the mona testnet um by bridging the eth sepolia to monad this is a free method you know actually the mona testnet some users are actually selling it out but this method is for you to get it free right all you need to do is just bridge network but then i know some of you might find this video interesting if you do please like this video subscribe to my channel and share with your friends but if you don't like this video just leave a comment and then you can help me improve on the aspect you do not like right so without wasting much of your time let's go ahead all you need to do is to click on the link in the description of this video and if you follow the description as well and if you follow the description as well you will um, be able to do it but then i need you to pay attention to the network congestion so this video may be cut and joined because of the network so and as at the time i'm making this video as you can see once you go over to your missus browser copy the testnet orbital link in the description of this video go to your missus browser paste it and then connect your wallet address once you've connected your wallet address um, the EVM wallet address using uh, your Metamax or your Trust wallet, whichever wallet you are using, then you go ahead to do the bridge. Now, this is what we want to bridge. As you can see here, my balance on the Sepolia testnet is 0 0.19, and then my balance on the and then my balance on the Monad Sepolia is zero, right? So, both of them. ETH, right? So what we want to do is to bridge Sepolia ETH to Monad Sepolia, right? So we are going to bridge 0 0.1. So we are going to receive 0 0.09. Now once we want to convert this to the main, main Monad on the Monad testnet, it's going to be way higher than 0 0.09. So but then let's bridge. Now, while you are doing this transaction, you may face congestion of network. I appeal to you, keep trying, and then probably you will get it. The network is congested, right? Meanwhile, Bybit lost over 1.3 billion in ETH. It was hacked. So you can look up that news. If you are holding any ETH on your Bybit, please do well to go over and check if your ETH is safe and move your funds to a more secure or decentralized wallets like trust wallets metamax and the rest but using a centralized exchange like bybit you need to be careful with your funds right now, as you can see here i have 0 0.199 uh monad sepolia do you know how long i had to wait for this transaction to go through um i think over six to eight hours right now like i said you need to be patient with this because you are bridging right and then you know how the monad uh, network congestion is you know how the um eth uh, congestion of the network is right so be patient once your transaction is approved when you are bridging the sepolia eth to monad sepolia you need to wait once your transaction is approved right don't perform double transaction unless you want to and if you have a lot of um eth uh, sepolia so what we'll be doing now is to head over to uniswap right so the link also will be in the description please do well to follow it you head over to uh to uniswap let me refresh my page sorry so this link will be also in the description it's just a normal swap but i want you to pay attention to the details of this video guys all right now look when you are here all you need to do is come here head over to these settings this one on green right once you have clicked it you need to click here another settings click it and then you enable testnet mode right enable testnet this is very very important enable testnet now once you are done with that you go back now look at our monad uh on our normal monad right so we want to bridge the monad sepolia to monad monad i don't know if you understand that if that makes sense we want to bridge from monad ethereum um, sepolia network to monad on monad network right so let's go over to do that so you come to your swap come over to your swap click here right once you click it you click here also pay attention please this is very very technical 
um, you click this ETH sign logo or symbol and then you select Monad testnet, right? Once you selected it, Monad Sepulia, you search for the ETH. As you can see, look at it here, ETH on Monad Sepulia. This is what we want to do. We want to swap this to our main Monad, this, right? As you can see my balance here, this is ETH on Monad network, 0 0.199, and then my Monad on Monad network, 0 0.177, 179, sorry. So, Let's go ahead to swap this and then click Don't Show and continue. As you can see, look at it at the top. Then we select our normal monad. And this is a free method, by the way. Just make sure you have um, testnet, Sepulia testnet. And I'm going to show you another way to claim the Sepulia on ETH. So let's swap our 0 0.19. It should give us, I don't know, 1.82, guys. 1.82. Oh, it's dropping fast. So let's go ahead to review. And then approve and swap you add network and then you confirm transaction you sign and confirm 1.94 wow approve and swap two sepolia two uh very good i'm happy with this 1.88 so approve and swap and then you are swapping let's see all right let's click on accept and the price is changing fast right very changing super super fast so i don't know click on accept and if you're okay with anyone and then confirm you have to be fast swap field try again come on come on still Swap field. So um, keep trying, but then at your own end, just check if what, what you're doing is confirmed already and then you're good to go. This is a tricky transaction. All right, as you can see, successful. We have swapped 0 0.19 um, ETH Sepolia. As you can see it here, we have swapped 0 0.19 Sepolia to um, ETH Sepulia, ETH Monad, sorry, to zero point to one point five Monad on Monad. So there you go, guys. Now to get your um, ETH Sepulia testnet, there are two ways to get it. The free method. That's what I'm going to sh share with you. The free method. So let's go over to this place. Now you head over to this page. The link will also be in the description of this video. Do well to check it out. Now you paste your address, your EVM address, or the one you are using to. Um, do your or your wallet address not your monad now your eth wallet we want to get the testnet token for eth this on sepolia network that is what we want to get now as you can see here it's saying receive 0.005 i don't know i've tried this some hours ago so i don't know if the token will be sent but because this is this has a either six hour or 12 hour interval for you to be claiming so but let's go ahead to click on claim just click on the link and then you'll be directed to this place paste your address all you need to do and then if there's a little tax or so but if there's no tax then you go ahead to click on receive all right you see every day so i've already claimed mine and as you can see here each google account and wallet address gets one trip on sepolia every day so that's I've claimed for today. Now we're going to the next um, step on how you can actually get the Ethereum Sepolia for free. The next step. Now the next step is to head over to the Faucet Trade Boat. The link also will be in the description. And then all you need to do is to click Start. Once you click Start, now sometimes the network congestion might not allow you to claim instantly or um, as fast as you want. But once you keep trying, then you will be um, able to. Um, get the token right so what we need to do is to just click on sepolia eth that's what we want to get once you click it they will ask you to paste your address or if you are doing this for the first time you'll be asked to join particular groups um probably two or so once you have joined it then you can go ahead to paste your address and then you send now you can see the faucet is overloaded but if you keep trying this and, and i bet you you'll get it you'll get it all right now as you can see i have received 0.005 Sepolia ETH.
that is how good this is so but keep trying if you're showing up something went on the first set is overloaded keep trying and eventually you will get it now watch the time as you can see 249 249 and then at 250 i got it right so that's all for this video so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching my video please do well if you find this very interesting do well to share with your friend and like this video also subscribe to my channel if you are not on my channel love you all see you in my next video